For the first part of our technical presentation, we'll talk about the machine learning model. To create the machine learning model, we needed to create a training data set. To create this training data set, we pulled data from the BigQuery public data on Iowa liquor sales. From this uh, big data set, we extracted the year, month, county, as well as all total sales for that for each month, county, and year. To create the model, we decided to use a linear regression model in order to predict the total sales for 2022. So the label was total sales, and the features we used to predict this were year, month, and county number. And we trained this on over 12,000 data points. After training the model, we created these model statistics. Mean absolute error and mean squared error look very large. The reason for that is because total sales in general is a very large number. But as you can see from the mean squared log error and R squared value, the model was trained accurately. As for the prediction data set, we used Excel to create a data set that had every sale from 2022 based on county and every month in order to predict for every county and month what our sales would be. After running the model, we combined the sales of 2021 and predicted sales of 2022 to find the percent change year over year in order to create the dashboard. Next, we'll talk about the dashboard. You'll see in the top left the predicted percent change for Iowa in 2022 based off of the 2021 data. This will predict January through November. In the middle, you'll see the average predicted percent change by county for Iowa. You'll see that county number 36 is in the top spot with an average percent change of 1,197.42. County number 36 is Fremont County in Iowa. In the graph on the right, you'll see the total sales for Fremont County from 2012 to 2021. You'll see that this is growing at a great rate for us. So the first three graphs give us insight on where to put the new liquor store but what should that store prioritize selling? You'll see at the bottom left um, is a graph that shows by brand, by year, per county. And you'll see that the taste in Fremont County is changing. In the middle on the bottom, you'll see the liters sold by brand in Fremont County. And more in depth on that, you'll see our last graph is a visual of the average bottles in blue and the average liters sold in purple. This graph is for Fremont County from 2012 to 2021.